What's up everybody, this is Hillbillies here, and welcome back to episode 38 of my Minecraft Let's Play series. Uh, today I figured this episode I would dedicate a little bit to just kind of updating you guys on the iron farm, the mob farm, and the other things that I've done in this world in the past week, since it has been a week now since I've uploaded a video. Uh, the reason for that is I've been spending many, many, many hours a day for this whole week just running around and fixing things, changing things, and updating them, and just making this world a whole lot better so that I can be caught up in all my stuff, so that when I make some videos I don't have to worry about 20 other jobs that I haven't done yet or things that need to be done, so I think I'm mostly caught up with everything, you know, there's little tiny, tiny things here and there, but I feel so much better about how much is done, so let's get to it. First off, to start, I figured I would work my way around and work over to the iron farm and the mob farm and show you stuff that's been done, so... First off, a little bit of a few changes in here. I moved because I wanted to get rid of the, the chests that were over there. So I moved everything in kind of into here, into a nice little pattern here. I just moved this actually to there. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. Not 100% sure. Uh, originally, I wanted these to actually go underground, like a block swapper type thing. But I left it like that and I found it doesn't look too bad. Um, over in these corners, you step on the pressure plate and it reveals a chest in each corner. I found that was going to be useful and it looks a lot better having them there than in the ground since they don't fit kind of like this one does. Um, and you can see up here there is a redstone lamp and what I will show you is you can see it's off right now and if I go and sleep, which uh, I haven't finished making, um, actually building a bedroom yet of course, and where I am right now, this is, you can see, I've done a little bit of work in here too. You can see this is this was the temporary tunnel that I used to get over to the mine. Still using it for now until I set up another area. But this room I found doesn't look too bad. A nice little bit of quartz here and some of that stone slabs. Put them around. And uh, that room goes down into the nether, but I'm going to show you that in a second. First, I wanted to show you what that lamp does. So you can see I just slept in the bed though, and bam, now the light is on. When the light is on, that indicates that it is daytime, and when it is turned off, it is nighttime. And over here, you can see I have these this lovely caution line here. This is for the incinerator. Basically, you step on here and it reveals the block, so it's it's a kind of a safety feature, so you can, it's never open constantly. You can see it even says, caution, incinerator. So yeah, step on there and throw whatever you need into there, and you're good to go. I don't try and get rid of most of my blocks, just the stuff that I really don't need anymore, like the um, rotten flesh and things like that, because that's an infinite supply now. Same thing with bones and arrows and things like that, but the arrows I try, I haven't filled up all my chests yet, so I'm going to keep those. So off we go down into here now. Um, this used to go to the nether room, and I've I've changed it around a bit, and then I kind of hmmed hot over for a while, left it, and I moved the the portal up to the other room. But now I put it down here again, and I kind of moved everything over just one block, and I added this now for lighting, uh, iron blocks, and then uh, there's the lava behind each one. I found that actually lights it up pretty good, and it looks a lot better. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm trying to have no torches in this world. Don't want any of those. Doesn't look that great. So most places you see with torches are unfinished. Um, this here, I kind of like the mixture of the sandstone with all of the with the, the nether stairs. They look pretty nice, the dark and light. And then here to light up the room, some nice lava looks pretty good. And it kind of goes along with the kind of room that it is, you know, heading off to the nether full of lava. There's all the nether rack here, so I tried to incorporate all that stuff into there. I thought that didn't look too bad, and I had seen Game On use like a block of lava to light up like his enchantment room or so, and I was like, oh, well, I'm going to try that, but I'm going to use the whole floor. So the whole floor is there. It's done with all that. And back up we go. Let's see, what else is new? Well, there's lots, lots of outdoor things have been done for sure. Uh, obviously, indoors, this was the main room that hadn't been worked on. If you remember, it was all wood still for a while and missing this piece here, but that's been fixed. That's been added there. Uh, last episode, or a couple episodes ago, you probably saw that my armor dispenser, I'm actually missing a piece of armor right now, as you can see, so let me test this, walk out onto it. It dispenses the armor, and then just walk off. And I am now wearing the armor. It's great. Works out pretty good. I gotta figure out something so that once you step on it, there's like a, a delay before you step on it again, so it doesn't dispense two things at once. A little complicated to set all that up, but I figured it out in the end. Uh, if we head off now, next thing over to the storage room. <laughs> I was blanking out there for a second. Um, we head over to the storage room. I've been spending as much time as I could trying to fill all of these now. And it, it's taken a while, but some are full, some are not. There's a lot that need to be 
checked on. I did tons of mining this week, and I managed to get, you can see, 60, a stack and 40 of diamonds, which is pretty great. Uh, iron is actually, I've been using so much of it constantly, I just keep it in here because I'm trying to add pillars to the iron farm still to hold those up. Um, the rest of this, some of this, you can see slime those are kind of full. Uh, like I said, certain chests are full, certain ones aren't. The food, uh, I started at the top really, so most of the food is pretty much 100% full, but the rest, eh, not so much. So, if we go off to the next thing, so I don't bore you guys too much, and I will work my way over to the iron farm now. Um, that's not too, too bad. Not too far. I've added a couple more power rails to it. For some reason it still seems slow. I don't know if it's just lag or what. Now uh, you can see I also have some blocks placed here, but I've been mostly using them for other projects, so I haven't gotten enough to make this, but it takes a, a good couple of hours before you get a, a bunch of stacks of iron ingots, so it might take a while, but one day it will be finished. And you can see I have, you know, I have enough power rails here, but it seems to slow down, like, so much. I don't know if the minecart speed has been changed or it's just lagging or what's going on. I notice horses lag a lot in this game when I when I try and run around. But here we are over at the iron farm. Let's check what I've gotten since this morning in a couple hours. Wow, okay, I wasn't expecting that. But see, you can see how productive it is. It's really great. I haven't had to worry too, too much about gathering all sorts of iron and stuff. And actually, let me hop out of this. I was going to sit in there for a bit because you can reach uh, this chest while you're sitting in it as well. So let me put this into blocks to see how many blocks of iron I got this trip. Wow, more than usual for sure, but you can see 55 blocks of iron without having to do any mining at all. Pretty great. And what I've been using for, if I go up here, I have been doing tons of work. Tons and tons, like I said. So what I did is I built another iron farm up there and one over there. Because as it turns out, you're only supposed to have one there and one there. As when I was making the video, I was saying I was going to build one over there and one over there. And I actually built one over there. And it didn't work. And I found out because you can only have two here and two above. And that's it. That's all. No more, no more less. So, I've done that. The only problem is I think there is a limit uh, on how many villagers can spawn. Seems weird, but I, it seems to be the case. Because what happens is you need ten villagers to make an iron golem spawn. So I have ten here, exactly. 10 over there exactly and the problem is I'm stuck with 8 and 8 on each top one so I don't think those ones are working yet and since everything has been maxed like nobody breeds anymore there are villagers that show hearts and they look at each other and everything but nothing happens so I figure I've just reached the limit kind of sucks but you know that's how it is eventually get more uh, I've created a safety ladder here as you can see too for each one of these um, that one is, you know, you can see it's still floating there, sort of, but it's not complete. You can see, though, that these pillars are actually made out of the iron blocks, and that one over there, see, this one is the, it's only missing one left, but I figured it would look a lot better to have something, you know, strong and whatever, holding it up than just having it magically floating in the air, so, because that's, I don't know, I don't want to have a building that just floats. But we're almost up here. Oh, it's going to auto-save on me. Of course, of course, right? Okay turned off the autosave for now because I have a lot of problems with it uh, freezing randomly on it because of all the stuff in the world so uh, I have to have the iron well the the autosave pretty often probably every 15 minutes or 30 minutes I usually set it to and you can see look at this see some villagers in here but they do not want to go over eight and it kind of sucks <sighs> oh well I kind of brought you guys up here though so you could see the view from up here now what the new trail looks like I found it looks pretty good kind of, you know, follows along the edge there. You saw that last episode and it connects up to everything else, but you can't see any farther than there, unfortunately, but I'll go over there and I'll go up the, uh, the mob farm later. You can sort of see the sky wars off in the distance. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad so far. I got a lot of work to do. I've been, you can see all the orange dots are all jack-o'-lanterns lighting up the world slowly and at nighttime it looks pretty cool, so I may show you guys that after too. But uh, down we go and off to over near the beacons. Whoa, let's see if I land this. There we go. Alright. Off we go. Off we go. So uh, this is the path that I have done. I did last, well actually a couple episodes ago. You probably saw, but I've, I've been adding more trees to it constantly whenever I can. I went around and placed some more lights and pumpkins, things like that. Looks a lot better and it keeps all the, night, the angry mobs away, which is pretty great because I do not want them around my world. So, the farther away they can be from the village, the better. Uh, I've added most every area here has um, all sorts of 
grass and it's nice and bright and all that and you can see on the map um, how much greener it is now at the bottom there opposed to how it was all just snow there originally so you can see how much work has actually been done and you can see the actual effect of it you can see something's happening on with my hearts and look at that see this I got jump boost strength haste resistance regeneration and speed all at the same time and that is thanks to this lovely beacon over here and this is thing is amazing other than the fact that it doesn't go very far I don't know why but I actually managed to sit there in the nether for long enough, kill a ton of withers, wither skeletons, get all the wither skulls, and then kill all the withers. And I was going to kill a few at a time, or at the same time for a video, but apparently you can't actually have more than one wither in your world at a time. Otherwise, the other ones just fall apart, and then you have to rebuild them, so it kind of sucks. But it took a long time, and I managed to get one, but I really enjoy the fact that now it's like, you can run around and jump super high, like you can jump straight over fences, you jump one, of, it's one and a half blocks high you jump, and I can actually test that right here, you can see one and a half blocks, and I can jump onto it, can't go two though, I think if I change one of these, I can add it to, add another jump, because I have like, this is speed two, I think, because I have two of them, I think, speed, I'm not sure how it works, but uh, enough with that. Off here, you see this was the horse stable from a couple, not too many episodes ago, but I've set it all up now so that uh, basically it has sections. So this is all the ones for the best jumping horses. This is the side for the speed horses. So the better the horses, you know, over here, this is the one that goes 10 blocks a second. I really enjoy this guy. It's quite fast other than the fact that it lags, so it's not actually that great. Uh, I got my jumping horses. This guy can actually jump, I think it's four blocks, four and a half maybe. It's pretty cool. Um, and I set up, of course, you know, the, you guys know the testing area here, uh, you just run through, shows how many blocks you ran, six blocks a second, which, as you can tell with the speed boost, that is an increase of two blocks a second, because normally your character can only run four blocks a second, and as you saw, it opens, closes to test your speed, and then opens again to release you, stays open for a second, and then closes once again. Automatic, great, took a little while for me to figure it out and set it up, but I enjoy it now that it's done. And over here... Just the quick, you know, the hockey rink built uh, last episode with a game on. It was pretty fun. I added the bleachers here so everybody can sit on and watch the games going on. Still got to figure out how to add some lighting without really melting the ice. And that's why I can't wait till we get packed ice. You can see this whole area here is now all grass as well. There's some birch trees up there I added too. And all the mountains have been leveled down properly and they look nicer now. So... But it's turning nighttime, so let's take a quick trip into the mob farm, show you how quick it works, the little tiny details that I've changed in it, and then we will head off. Nope, nope, whoa. I'm sorry, Mr. Enderman, I didn't mean to get you mad. Where are you? Bring it on. You can see the reason I built, um... Oh, cool. There we go, I got a new ender pearl, too. You can see the reason I did this was actually to stop them from escaping from the mob farm but I don't think I've gone far enough with it yet so I may try and extend it and if it doesn't work then I'll just remove it because I'm also working on an enderman farm in the net in the end which is great and you can see I've already got a couple guys here I haven't been standing that close to it but one trick that I find is going to the top all the way to the very top it kind of despawns all the mobs that are out in the ground and then when you come back down to the bottom they seem to show up a lot more mind you this is nighttime so I'm going to take advantage of this time to show you what it actually looks like up top and as you see uh, again once I said uh, I forgot to mention that the uh, water there that's also to stop endermen from spawning everything here is to also you know two and a half blocks high so they can't get in here um, this is another safety ladder I didn't like how far it jutted out and the water was huge so instead I just kind of limited you to a small area when you're climbing up here so that when you drop down you just walk right off the edge splash down to the water and away you go so it's a lot faster doesn't look as bad with the glass instead of you know, all the stone and stuff that I had there originally. So, we almost to the top here? Almost. See, it's quite a bit up, quite a ways up there, but you can see everything nicely lit up there, the dock over there, and, and the nice path along the edge. So, I find it kind of this world looks a lot better now that I've been taking the time to run around and do everything required, work on everything, and really just add to it. So, here you go, guys. Actually, let me go over here, maybe, see if I can get more to spawn in. But here's part of the world. You can't see those buildings back there still which kind of sucks, but um, you can see I have been quite, quite, quite busy with the lights. Maybe a little bit crazy with the lights, but you can see that this is the reason that nothing spawns and it looks really cool at night. I like how my world is looking right now. It's kind of a cool little checkerboard pattern down there for the, the nice pathways going through. I debated changing the whole thing to wood pathways, but I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to figure that out later. 
Um, but you guys can always, you know, comment and tell me things what you think and I give me ideas and all sorts of cool stuff. So, because I always want to hear from you guys, definitely, because it's always inter fun to interact with everybody who watches and all that. So, But for now, let's keep this show on the road. You can see up there is the Sky Wars that I built. Um, take note, too, that this is this world is actually all in survival mode. None of this is done in creative mode. Uh, just for the reason that I'm not a big fan of creative mode, I like the challenge of having to gather all the materials, build, and work for everything that you need to get in this world. But, like, like I said, I wanted to show you how just how quick the mob farm is actually going now, because spending a couple hours um, filling up caves is actually useful. Remember, this is nighttime. And this is what happens going up to the top very quickly and just coming back down. Uh, they spawn like crazy. You can see I've already gone up three levels here, four levels. Uh, let's see, there's five levels. Still, they're still not dead. And that's just from a quick trip to the top and back down. Um, I have noticed that since I've added stuff like the, the water and things, the endermen do spawn a little bit faster, which is pretty great. Uh, witches take a couple more hits to kill, of course. But once you do that, you just walk into the corner, grab the extra XP that didn't show up, and then grab all the nice loot, and you are good to go. Drop it off all into the chest. You can see there's a hopper underneath that, and it brings it down to another chest, and another hopper, and another chest, all the way down to the bottom. And that's pretty cool, because that goes right into... Well, let me actually put this crap away for a second. Put this two in here. Alright, let's go down. Okay, so down here is... You can see another thing to stop the Endermen from spawning because they can spawn all the way to the roof of the world and all the way to the bottom, but they can only spawn 35 blocks away from wherever they are. But, like I said, down here. Enchanting rooms for when I get all the levels. I got some extra books and stuff in here. I always got extra anvils, which I would like to set up some sort of dispenser thing that um, basically set off that when the anvil breaks, another one is replaced and it shoots like a dispenser pops out another anvil so you never run out until you have to refill the chest and something like that would be kind of cool. But that might be a later on project. So, But I thought that was pretty cool. I really enjoy having the mob farm and the iron farm. It's made things a lot easier. Made things more fun to work on. Um, gives me more time to concentrate on really getting the jobs done that I have been miss missing out on and haven't finished. And, you know, like the terraforming that I was doing and all that. And, which I will go continue to show you more work that's been done. Because things have been, as you know, I've said, I've been very, very busy. This has taken hours and hours and hours to do all of this. Um, but I'm so happy with the end result, which is why it was definitely worth it that I did spend all this time doing it. And I'm glad to be able to show all you guys today what it looks like. And probably next episode... Oop, apparently there's a creeper in there. I'm not going to bother him, but it's good to know that that place is not lit up. Because one of the things I did do... Um, is I finally kind of organized the glowstone. So I'd moved it, because there were so many randomly placed everywhere, and it just really didn't look very nice, especially from up above. So I changed it so that it's more spaced out, looks a little bit cleaner and nicer, and, you know, little things here and there. I finally got rid of the ugly farm for trees that I had here, and I replaced it again with a nice natural beach instead, you know, what there used to be here, and you can just walk out here. I'm thinking maybe I might set up some sort of thing with, like, a mini umbrella and a table type stuff. If I can build something like that, that would be pretty cool. Um, probably build some fishing shacks way over near the other spot. I would like to build a pirate ship soon because I built a dock a long time ago and never built a pirate ship to go along with it. Uh, most of you guys have probably all seen these buildings here. There's a video for each one, of course, but just a quick look. Really, this is just the this is the farmer's house. Come back in here, just kind of, you know, this was, this was originally, all of these buildings were designed for villagers until I had to get rid of them all and use them all for the iron farm, unfortunately. I'd like to have more of them back again. Um, I'd also release them once the world was lit up and safe enough that no mobs would spawn anymore. I actually released them all, but then they all just gathered in one building and it kind of was annoying because now I had these, you know, all these buildings that you walk into and it's like, oh, the villagers not actually here which kind of sucked but you know it's something i'll probably work on and next time i will lock them in the building and keep them there um you can see i finally added the actual you know th this was the display of what your options were here in the butcher shop um that's finally been filled up there's some animals in the back too as extras everything's been placed it's really great i'm very happy because all those tiny little details that, like i said never finished were finally done even back here i only did this about 10 or 20 minutes before i started filming this video and Look at it now, like, this is was all stone, some of it was, you know, I'd, I had made it like a staircase shape, but I never made it dirt. 
which kind of sucked and I needed to definitely put some flowers down and grass because it's all a snow biome which kind of sucks but oh well. I'm going to probably build out soon in another area which my plans hopefully is I have actually a really close biome, a jungle biome and I would like to build some like I guess tree houses like you can see that tree if you can from way over there um, it's pretty tall and I would love to build like a tree house in that one and build another one in like in that ha tree for example and then connect them with uh, like an, a bridge in the air or something like that I don't know having a cool like tree forts and stuff would be pretty nice so that might be another project that I would like to start working on and I'm wondering if for some of these videos now I may change it up and instead of just building one object um, I may just kind of bounce around from one object to another during the videos and things like that you know switching it up so that I'm always doing something different, although I don't know if you guys enjoy getting to see one whole project done and finished in the same video, or do you want to see different things all the time, like, I'm not sure, you guys leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Um, you can see here too, this is another field, obviously all nicely finished. Um, the mini putt still not 100% completed, I don't think I'm going to make another video on it though, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish it, I'm going to build it, I only have like 5 or 6 holes left, so I'm just going to expand it this way a bit finish up the last couple of holes that there are and then it'll be done i'll enclose it in and one more game for the amusement park will be finished and then i will probably go find i'll build a path or a tunnel to go to a new section and really start up a proper amusement park type there i'd like to build a roller coaster and some sort of boat races or a boat like i don't know like a water park i guess it'd be interesting um for those you've been seeing too this is a an archery test basically go back and forth and normally inside there's a minecart going around activating buttons and it all of those blocks you see those move up and down and make it very difficult for you to shoot i'm kind of going around randomly here though i realize but i'm going to take you over to something maybe each one of the buildings i don't know because that's kind of that's mostly what i wanted to show you guys i wanted to show you guys you know the the nice terraforming that's been done finally gotten all of the the things it took forever you know i built some paths and i got rid of all the stone that was in the way um i finally fixed you know the the, mo the mob farm over there so it looks a little bit better and everything is easier no hopefully not too many endermen are going to spawn everywhere um i've like i said spaced out the glowstone a, bu a bunch um it gone around each of the buildings i've tried to fill up the storage room with as much stuff as i could just to make sure that when I'm ready for my next video, when I'm going to probably go and build in the, the jungle, or when I go and build the pirate ship or something, that everything else is kind of off my mind, and it's like, alright, it's it's finished, it's ready to go. So, yeah, it's just, you know, it's nice to have um, nice to have some things finished and looking better in this world. So, obviously, you know, it's not perfect, there's not everything is 100% finished, but I'm getting there, and it will take a little bit of time, but definitely worth it, and I'm really enjoying it. And I figured this way too, like I really enjoy playing lots of video games, so one of the other things too is, and I'm sorry if I'm, I'm just kind of going around now ranting, I just kind of want to show you guys too what the world looks like so you can take a glance as I talk, run around a little bit, so maybe we'll, uh, which way should we go? Hmm, let's just go explore some of the buildings while I chat. But uh, yeah, I, was in, I really enjoy playing lots of different video games, and I find that with Minecraft, uh, you have to spend so many hours meticulously doing everything that you don't really have too much time for anything else so i figured this way when i put down one solid week of playing this game i could catch up enough that would give me the freedom to go and record some other video games like i have the dishonored game that i real i started a video on and i never even made a second one so i'd like to do that and you know that takes a little bit of time too so but now i have the now i actually do have a little bit of time to do it and it's pretty great and you can see here we are in the library well, obviously i guess took absolutely ages to get all this still need some more glowstone to fill up that upper level there but like i said it takes a long time and that's one of the problems is i run around for hours and hours and then still find more stuff like i completely forgot about this and i probably should have come in here and gotten more glowstone for this but time 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 that is what everything is the problem so oh well i think that's that's kind of mostly everything though because everybody else is, uh, if you haven't seen these buildings you should really go go through watch some of the videos of me building them because uh, i just wanted to kind of update you guys on all the new stuff that i've been doing in the past week um it was i've been very very busy and i figured you know it's been 17 episodes or 18 episodes since i've done my last world tour so i thought bringing you guys around once again would be pretty nice uh, getting to see all the cool new stuff, especially since how much work has actually been done recently. There's just so much. You can see I went from having no beacon to having a 
six beacon tower to an iron farm that's complete to the mob farm that's all finished and to a landscape that's all done and to a new pass and all sorts of stuff being built so I definitely didn't want to get too far ahead with all that but I think now that's I'm caught up everything is great I'm going to start doing other projects like I said that that space there is missing a boat both sides a pirate ship on one side and some sort of ship on the other not figured it out yet but I need something like that and I think it would look really cool so I'm thinking that's about it guys that's pretty much everything that's been done in my world now I know it's not a huge amount but it is to me I find that it's been enough to enough to help me motivate me and get it all finished and now encouraging me to start working on other projects and getting other things ready so I hope you guys will continue to follow along and get to see the how the world continues to flourish I'm always trying to improve it make it look nicer as I go because I really enjoy the designing aspect now and keeping things a little bit more natural so I might try and do that incorporate natural paths like this around the world and just start building some new cool things and just continue expanding so um yeah i guess that's it guys so thank you again once again so much for watching uh don't forget to leave your comments down below uh let me know what you think give me some ideas if you just want to send a message and uh tell me about your ideas things like that now uh, you want to play some video games together whatever just let me know so thank you all again so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one